guys welcome back to my youtube channel my name is kindness i am a nigerian living and filming in venus lithuania guys today i wanted to bring you new updates that the lithuanian immigration department have just released on the 1st of march 2021 so this is new and this is good without any further ado make sure to subscribe to this channel like this video comment below there is a link in the description bar where you can send me your questions let's get right into the video i will just start with the first updates which would be for those that are currently living in lithuania the lithuanian government just announced that you do not need to go through rigorous steps to sub, uh, submit your documents for your residence permit previously even in my video where i talked about the things that i like about lithuania i did mention that the process of submitting your documents can be quite you know tedious even though that the process is in itself is easy but just getting all the documents you need to make the application can just be stressful and disheartening especially as a new uh foreign or a new student living here so what they have done now is that the main thing that you will be needing is a document for you from yourself declaring where you are living previously you needed to get a document from you the person like the landlord of your house and then take it to another place where they sign it they confirm it they register it then you have to take it all to the immigration department now they have cut out all those like steps and now you literally just have to bring a, a document stating where you are staying and i think guys that is so good because sometimes your landlord does not even live in lithuania almost impossible to see the owner of your house then cutting out the other processes just makes it easier and smoother for people who are seeking to apply for their residence permit that's just a winner because i'm telling you applying for permit uh, for your temporary residence permits can be so stressful and i just wanted to almost say permanent residence permit guys let me know if you want to see a video about how you can apply for permanent residence uh, permits in lithuania but yeah the next information i know that you would love this one so much you to study here in lithuania guys the Lithuanian government have just announced that you, as a master's degree student, can now work full-time. Guys, I think that this is so good and so important because sometimes companies do not want to hire you if you're working for hours a day. I mean, they're looking for full-time worker, but even though you have this skill, they just don't want to go through the process of getting you for four hours. They want somebody that, you know, they will be there full-time. And so I think that this is such a great opportunity if you're considering to move here for your studies. This was, of course, possible because most of the master's student, most of the master's program are uh, happening in the evening hours they usually start from 5 p.m to 9 30 p.m when i did my master's it was the same way as people that do their master's program are actually like advanced professionals and i think them putting this into con consideration knowing that there are, there are people whom i want to do their master's here who necessarily might not have the opportunity to work and they will choose another country and i think that that is so good that they have made it possible for master students so and again the people were, that were at loss at this opportunity we are definitely third country nationals like people that are not from the eu so them making it possible for us for you to work now full-time during your studies is so important unfortunately I mean, I don't even think it's unfortunate. People that are doing their bachelor degree still have like four hours in a day to work. But guys, I think that that is still brilliant. I think that you should not even bother about that. When you are doing your bachelor's, you actually have so much uh, work. You have like studies in the morning to evening. So four hours is actually a good time for you. But if you're doing your master's, voila, you can now work full time in Lithuania. Make sure to check my video where I talked, I shared with you tips on how you can get your first job in Europe so that it can prepare you even before you come here for your studies. The next update, which this one, I mean, I feel like all these updates are just juicy and sweet, right? <laughs> Some of you are already hearing the news, thinking it's a rumor. It's not a rumor. It is not a rumor. You can now get a work permit even if you're not living in Lithuania. What? Yes, guys, if you're a highly skilled professional, you cannot apply to a Lithuanian company or you can find a job in Lithuania and apply there. And if you get a job, you can relocate to Lithuania. The process is so much easier now. In fact, the first one is that, of course, I would recommend you to check all the websites that you can find jobs like LinkedIn, like uh, CV Bankers, like CV Online, like uh, which other website is the Lithuanian website where you can find jobs. But definitely type it on Google, guys. You will find so many, so many uh, websites where you can apply for a job. But guys, if you get a job and that company hires you, 
the best part of this whole update is not only that you're getting a work permit but once you sign the contract you can start working what once you sign the contract you can start working previously right if you would get a job let's say you got a job in lithuania right done through the process like going through the process signing the contract applying for visa applying for work permits doing all those things before you can start working and this would take like how many months like months we are talking about months and even the quickest process takes around like two months and now if you get a job you don't have to wait like they the new law says that you don't have to wait once you sign the contract you and the company agree you can start working immediately while waiting for your work permit and i think that that is just ah that is so amazing because even for me and for many people when we got our first jobs as international people living here we had to wait like sometimes four months sometimes two months before we could resume work so now then cutting that off and making you just get into the job process immediately once you get the job and you agree with the company i think that is just brilliant that is amazing i love it so much i love it i love it so much so guys make sure to take advantage of those websites if you're con considering to relocate to lithuania and if you're an it professional look for the jobs that are you know that are available on those websites and apply and if you get hired the process is easier you can start working immediately another important update as well is for people who are highly skilled and this one you don't even need a work permit <laughs> you don't need a work permit like you know, so like this update, I'm here, like I'm when I when it came out, I was just wondering what happened. What happened? Like who spoke to them? <laughs> but guys, in my videos of things I like about living in Lithuania, I actually mentioned that the immigration system and the policies in Lithuania are, you know, always updating and always changing to suit the need of the country and where they are seen to, you know, seeing themselves in the next few years you know they are seen as the fintech hub and look at their foca they forecasted where they are heading to and they are following through to make sure that they arrive there so guys imagine some people would not even need work permits to come to lithuania and here are the people that would not need work permit the people who are, who are very highly skilled in a particular area and they cannot find the company in itself cannot find a, a person in lithuania who can take up that position and that might be you so if you're the one and you apply to get that job you do not need even a work permit if there is nobody that has their skill and is you they're gonna hire you and there will be no talk for work permit in order for you not to be needing the work permit the employer as well needs to be paying you three times the minimum wage and the minimum wage at the time that i checked around 550 euro in lithuania so the company paying you three times more there are many companies that pay that already so this is not such a big deal in my opinion but yeah this is something that you have to just note if you are coming here and you think you will not need a work permit just know that the employer has to pay you three times that average salary the next set of people that will not be needing a work permit is also people that get a job in lithuania so let's say a company hires you in lithuania and you are living in nigeria so you would not need a work permit you can work remotely so all remote workers who have gotten an employment in lithuania then don't necessarily have to come here they will not need a work permit they can work under that company gets paid under that company and they don't necessarily have to you know come here and live here and you know get a work permit and i know there's some of you that have written me about getting remote jobs so guys you can do this and you don't need a work permit you can work from china and live here and this will increase even the opportunity for people to travel oh my god you've seen all those like nice bali videos where people are living in bali in their villa and their work is in dubai or somewhere <sighs> Lithuania people that are living in Lithuania we can now do that so digital nomads can absolutely take advantage of this opportunity you can apply for a job in Lithuania get the job you don't need the work permit stay in your mansion or in your villa in Bali in Singapore enjoy your time while working under a company in Lithuania the last set of people that will not need work permit are those coming to Lithuania under a youth exchange program so there are always opportunities like that like the digital explorers program I'm not sure if it was under a youth exchange program but guys if you want that check with your university where you're studying now google online use google guys but yeah 
those people who are coming to Lithuania through youth exchange program, they would also not need a work permit. Let's say they were coming here to do a project. They will not need a work permit. They just, they can just fly to Lithuania. And of course, with all the contracts from the uh, exchange department or exchange organization that they are coming with to Lithuania, they can just do the process and they will not need a work permit. Guys, these updates are beautiful. They are mind blowing. And I think that I am excited. I just want to say, because I know that some people, are not happy about this they're not happy with up the updates that have been made in lithuania one being that they feel that international people will take all the jobs but guys if you're lithuanian watching this video you see all those companies or all those countries that you love and they are well advanced they have grown and done all those things there's a there's a reason and there is there are things that they have done to come there. Do you get what I mean? They have done some sacrifice. They have gone through diversity. They have gone through employing people who were not like them. Don't be sad if you think that, you know, don't be sad to hear this update. This is just to make uh, Lithuania well-known, well-equipped, uh, richer, um, everything nice everything nice and i know that there are still challenges that comes with having many people come into a country but i believe that if we all continue to work together and do the right thing where we are that you know we'll be able to cope those challenges and actually produce even more and better results so don't be offended if you're lithuanian and you've had this update lithuania is about three million people guys and it's it's quite small so don't be offended you know be happy that people are coming here. Be happy that you're going to meet people. Be happy that, you know, you're going to have experiences from people who have lived across the world. So I think this is such a great opportunity for Lithuanians. It's a great opportunity for people that are coming to Lithuania. And I am just so... I am just so excited. So guys, I want to know what do you think about this update? Do you think they are nice? What do you think? Do you think... Just comment below. I want to have this conversation below. Comment below. And if you're Lithuanian, how did you feel about hearing this update from the Lithuanian government? So let me know what you... I want to see all the conversations in the comment section below. There is a link in the description bar where you can send me your questions. I'm collecting all of them. And when I can, you know, make a good collection of them, I'll be able to make a follow-up video. So guys, these are the updates. And I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Make sure to like comment below let me know what you think about all of this comment below i want to be reading all the comments and i'll be replying don't forget me to send me your message guys i will see you next time don't forget to subscribe like this video turn on the post notification bell and i'll see you in my next one